Hi, so here's a tutorial on how to make this kind of picture in Terrigen 2. It's uh, just basically the basics of Terrigen 2. Making, using, being able to use objects as trees, making a surface layer, change your terrain color, and making clouds like that. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so we'll open up Terrigen 2. Okay, here we go. So, as you can see, here's the default terrain, default camera view, default sky, which is nothing. So, the idea here is it's going to be obviously a little more focused on this cloud. So, here's a very easy way to move your camera. You click on this. And here's a lot of controls you can do. You can tilt it like that. That's good because for when you're out out in space. It's kind of interesting when you tilt the camera like that. You can rotate left. Like that you can go zooming in or out, which I won't do because zooming out and in is uh, it kind of distorts stuff. It's only really good to zoom in or something like that. I prefer just using this, which goes forward, left right backwards this can move the camera up and down and that rotates it up and down okay so let's move that camera up a little bit and quite a bit and that camera lower so you can see the trees better and even more okay that seem good to me. Now, I want to make it so it should be applied to your render. That. Very important. Let's not forget. Alright. Let's start off by the clouds. Now, there's uh, three kinds of main clouds you can do. Cumulus, Alto Cumulus, and Cirrus. And I'll use, cu uh, uh, I'll, I'll use Cumulus. Uh, cumulus can create a pretty interesting cloud with it. So let's make the clouds more depth. And let's make coverage a little bit less. And let's try making that up to a little bit lower. These are all that's shown in meters. There's a lot of things that can, uh, you can do that I don't use. Lighting and tweaks or something that aren't really find useful. Quality is important. Uh, I'm not going to increase it right now as it's not quite necessary, but it will take too long to do it, but the samples is how you create your detail higher, and you'll do little effects, the samples automatically increases the quality. Uh, increasing it to the acceleration cache, and then will make also your clouds better quality, we'll do that. Alright, so, on second thought, I'll make that coverage a little bit higher. Let's quite quickly make those clouds higher for that should be good. Let's. That really does it for clouds for now. For now. No, it's for now. Okay, so let's add some terrain to this. Power fractal is a very common terrain thing. It's uh, good for making these sort of billy shaped. It doesn't make. As ma it doesn't really make mountainous stuff, but we won't need that right now, but it creates sort of pretty stuff. And it also goes faster than the other thing. The uh, alpine fractal. Let's make that keep the scale a little bit lower. More lower, make it the sort of bigger we'll get. And I'm gonna make this gonna be sort of hills. So I'm gonna go to the tweak noise and make this noise flavor pearl and billows. And uh, make that higher like that. No, lower. Excuse me. And I'll make those noise octave octaves to 15. Make the lean scale 8,100. I'll make go back to speak noise and make the noise variation to 1.5. Displacement to 1,600. 
That's it. It's not terrain for now. Okay. Now for trees. So make a whole bunch of trees. We're gonna have to go to the objects, add object population, and most trees are in TGO. They're also OBJ, another very common 3D thing we use for Terra, and the LWO, which is a lightweight object for TGO. And we're going to look at all these. There's plenty of trees you can get all over the place for Terra too. I'm gonna try using. Mm, let's try using. That's your tree for now. And as you can see, there is the tree border right there. We'll uh, move over to that so we can move it into our viewfinder. Back to my original view. And now we can increase the length, and length of the trees by that, Merly. And now we're gonna have a lot of trees here if I just render it like this. We're going to try making the trees a lot more spaced. Alright, let's make that object facing in both 50. And we'll make the variation 35, 35. Sounds good. Now for a tree, you wanna make the trees a lot bigger than the wheel they are right now. Make Now let's make the lighting. As you can see, we're facing that way. I want the sun to be kind of behind us. Move that sun right there. Make the elevation a little bit lower. That should be good. Alright, so this should uh, be a little bit better. I think I should make that albums here a little bit higher. As you can see in this in this picture, the preview screen at the still see quite some bit of a shadow, okay. Look that higher. Okay, that'd be good. So we've done that. What's left? Should get covered a little bit less. Let's try with water. Let's add a lake. I found negative one thousand to be a good good uh, level, something there's wrong with it, but anyway, that seems to be a good level, alright, so I was taking care of the water, and I think that's basically all to do with the water, alrighty, so we have now the like, cumulus clouds, terrain, water, and trees, the color of the terrain, alright, let's go to shaders, add a layer, service layer, we're gonna make this entirely Entirely, whatever color. Make it. That color. All right. Now we got a really quite dark color, and now we've got our first Terrigen picture, and I'll render it for you to see. Some quite important things, though, you need to do with rendering. <clears throat> On full render, which is rendering the uh, full image, you're going to be doing some important things. You're going to, first of all, probably want to make the picture bigger. Maximum size in the free version is 800 by 600. Size size you make it, and uh, also as detail you make it is one, and anti aliasing three. So I usually make the pic uh, detail 0.8 on that. Be point about 0.85, I think. That should be good. The GI relative detail and GI sample sample quality aren't really important right now, but make that three and make this eight hundred by six hundred. All right, you're all ready to render. All right, here it is, the picture we got. Sample clouds uh, were increased to about a hundred. More samples, the more better quality you get. 
Uh, you can see trees right there, and some water right there, trees submerging it. It's a pretty simple picture, but it's just the basics.